Welcome uh, to uh, Backup Exec uh, tutorial. Today I'll be showing uh, uh, how to install uh, Backup Exec 2015. Uh, currently, uh, the test environment consists of uh, uh, the virtual machine. I've already created it's uh, Windows 2008. So I already downloaded uh, the required uh, ISO file. Okay, that is uh, Backup Exec 15, and that's a uh, it's around uh, 2.3 uh, uh, GB so I'll go ahead and um, control uh, yeah and let's see so guys so uh, this is the first screen of what you'll see for a backup exit 15 okay and uh, first it will check for the pre-installation uh, requirements whether uh, we have everything in place or not click on plain station so it's gonna run a, a quick environment check okay and uh, so see here uh, if you look at the uh, the environment check uh, it's it gonna uh, check about the minimum requirements for installation compatible versions of required components uh, whether we have any previous versions of backup exec or uh, any other related uh, options for install on this particular server and also related storage devices and uh, and uh, drivers okay if i click on next here it shows uh, see here uh, we have two uh, options here one is local environment and the second one is the remote environment let's say uh, i want to install on one of my remote servers so i can perform from my local laptop or from any any server in the in the network but currently uh, we are using a test environment so i prefer uh, uh, using local environment okay and i click on next here and it is running sometimes uh, i mean it's not a hundred percent i mean we will be getting uh, all greens here so you can check here uh, it says and this is the summary so i'm sorry guys i'm uh, running out of the uh, battery laptop battery so so here it says R2 does not meet the minimum requirements. I need to check whether uh, any hotfixes are uh, uh, that new, that should be installed here. Okay, and it's also check the port availability is good. DHCP, we are not using DHCP, and uh, yeah, hard drive is good. System drive check, cluster configuration, terminal services, CPU speed, system memory, uh, tape device, Explorer version, 64 bit operating system. So there are so many and here uh, yeah there are some warnings but however we can ignore those warnings the only thing we need to concentrate on here it is the red one so check whether we have uh, from the operating system whether uh, service pack uh, is required okay before proceeding so you can also check we I mean all these results are stored under uh, the HTML file which is environment checks.html okay so this is the initial step you have to perform before actually uh, going for an actual install right on any customer environment it will not impact anything so you can provide this this uh, environment check to customer saying that hey we have performed we have done the uh, the pre uh, check on the environment and these are the requirements so uh, this is what uh, gives you uh, an extra mileage uh, in front of the customer that you do really care about their environment thank you so much and uh, let's see the actual installation in tutorial 2 so uh, thanks guys so uh, uh, catch up in in my next video okay bye for now